What's up guys, Scrub King here, bringing you one of my favorite decks at the moment, Tenyi. Uh, this deck is pretty cool, you can go into a lot of weird plays, but let me just go ahead and get into the deck profile. So, I play two of the Vishuda, the Tenyi Spirit. So all the Tenyi Spirit monsters is banished from a hand or graveyard for cost, and then they all do their own little special thing. Vishuda is uh, one of the better ones where you can banish it and then just uh, destroy one card on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Um, I only play two because I only have two, so I definitely would max out on this if you guys have it. This is all, um, also, you can use this card along with um, Monk of the Tenyi as like a little mini engine if you're, you know, playing some degenerate stuff. So, two Vishula. I played three of the uh, Shatana. So this one's also pretty good. So if your uh, non-effect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon it from the grade after, you know, banishing for cost and everything. Uh, special summon it from the grave, and then you could pop one of your opponent's monsters. So, nice little secret play there with that one. I play also two of the Mapura. This card is also amazing. I would play this at three as well if I had a third one. Uh, Mapura is awesome. So, it's a negate when your non effect monster is targeted. So, it's pretty cool. It catches people by surprise. I also play two of the uh, Nahara spirit um this card's okay i mean very situational so whenever your non-effect monster is battle is battling you can reduce the attack of the opposing monster by 1500 um it's cool i mean it, it's it, it works in situations but um i only play two of it and i do only want to play two not not three so that's that adhera is the last spirit that we currently have uh, this one's pretty good, so it recurs. So you can banish it and then target one of your uh, 10 E cards that are banished and then return it back to your hand. So it recurs all these amazing cards that activate. Uh, also, the best thing about it is that it is a tuner. So level one tuner, uh, and you could do some shenanigans with that. I'll show you in the extra deck later. Um, so I played this at three only because uh, it does recur your resources and it is a tuner, so it's fun to play with. But yeah, so that's currently all the 10 E spirits that we have at the moment. I mean, we're waiting for Chaos Impact to come out. Or we'll get the light tenny. That one's going to be pretty broken. A lot of these ratios will change by then. Um, any difference that I'll do is play this at three. Play this at three. And I'll probably cut back at. Uh, I'll probably cut back uh, um, one of this. And maybe uh, two of these. But yeah. So let me know what you guys think about my ratios. So getting on to the rest of the deck. So very. Uh, not the biggest hand trap lineup. So two ogre, two ash. Common ash. Shout out. <laughs> uh, ogre's very good metal call right now uh, it's going to be amazing so especially when you're going against pendulums electrum boop um so it's going to be interesting how how many people will now play ogre so just that i i got this idea from my boy mark so he does play a small little sub tier engine in his tenny um my engine's a little bit smaller than what he was playing so i just three guru two fiendus straightforward nothing too crazy about it Love sub terrors. It works great in this deck. So as they're face down, you technically don't have a non-effect monster face up. So you can special summon other tenues from your hand. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so just a quick little lineup there. Now going on to the spells. Of course, I'm playing uh, sub terrors. I got to play the Hidden City. Just two of. This card is awesome. It also baits out hand traps so you can pop off in your other tenue stuff. So pretty awesome. This card is really broken if you could do both effects. So Vessel is basically a foolish burial for any worm. And then if you have a non-effect monster on field, you can go ahead and grab a Tenny Spirit that's not the same name as the worm monster you sent. So it's pretty awesome. And of course, the best card in the deck, <laughs> three Super Polys. So Super Poly is amazing metal call right now you'll see the extra deck of what my targets are but super poly in this deck is is needed <laughs> to say the least so three super poly um you definitely need to uh protect yourself from hand traps so three uh call by the grave so shaman of the tenny the uh the um link to that card needs to go off so you're discarding for cost and you want to make sure that you don't lose card advantage so call, call by the grave is extremely necessary and this next card is Probably one of my favorites, and you'll see it in the duels that I, I post later on against Martin. <laughs> Cosmic Cyclone is just amazing. It's a non destructive removal for any spell or trap. You just pay a thousand, it's amazing. Banishes it from the game. It's, yeah, probably one of my favorite cards. All right, so now to more of the one ofs now. So, of course, one terraforming to get the hidden city and to get the flawless. So, this field spell is awesome. So, if you have a non effect monster, well, first of all, your non-effect monster is unaffected by uh, monster effects, so let's start off with that. And then if you have a non-effect monster once per turn, if your opponent special summons an effect monster, you could draw two cards. So it gets you into your hand traps, gets you into all your other tenny spirits that can activate from the hand. 
um pretty crazy but i only played one of it, it was getting cloggy more than one um and i also play you know hidden city so it's too many field spells in the deck um you could play set rotation as well i haven't really tried that yet so i was thinking about it but we'll see so flawless one pod duality um the reason is i mean you could uh, i was thinking about you know card demise as well i just wanted to try out one pot to see how it goes what was, what was happening was i was drawing too many of these and of course you know your tenny monster you want special summon haven't tried uh card demise yet i think it would be an interesting card to try in this deck because you know your tenny monsters can still pop off from grave um, even if you do discard them so i could try that as well and that would be a nice substitute but currently one paw duality I, I wanted to keep the build exactly how the duel was um against martin so you guys could see that duel and see the deck profile as well the rest of the one ofs is metaverse of course thanks konami <laughs> and uh fist of the unride of tenny this card is amazing uh, i only played one of it i do get a little worried uh, when i was playing two i kept drawing one and i didn't have a non-effect monster on field so i was like eh, whatever basically uh when a spell uh spell trap or monster effect is activated while you control non-effect monster negate it <laughs> and it's good um uh, it's a good bait for uh back row disruption so it's, if it gets destroyed in the back row you can special summon a non-effect monster from your extra deck so i see a lot of people playing um blue eyes ultimate especially something in it I, I don't play blue eyes ultimate in my in my extra deck um because the space but that's one way to do it, right? <laughs> uh, for the rest of the traps, are, of course, two waterfall. This card's, you know, Rota for uh, worms. Um, and also, if you, you, you know, you could do the uh, discard worm monsters from your hand to draw that many cards because your 10 monsters do activate in grave. So you could actually use both effects here. Uh, in True Draco, they mainly use the first one just to add a worm. So this was one of the rare occasions where waterfall actually works in both effects because 10 are awesome. Two crackdown because we're. Uh, you know, we're that type of deck right now, right? <laughs> you gotta steal opponent's monster. So two crackdown. And uh the last traps are two uh solemn strikes. So of course you could play solemn judgment. Um during the duels I, I had my solemn judgment in my Marincess build, so I didn't really put it in here. Um but this is you know rev one of the build. I'm gonna keep optimizing and, and I'll make a follow-up deck profile for you guys. But I play two strike instead of uh, the judgment. So that rounds up the deck. It's 45 cards. I know, I know. Uh <laughs> very uh very difficult to choose but um i could bring it down slim it down and i'll probably follow up with the next deck profile after i tested it some more so extra deck we got link karibo um this card is you know amazing so we play fiendus we play the uh tenny spirit uh, level one so you gotta play it uh two monk of the tenny this card is amazing probably bring it up to three to be honest with you and take out one of the other ones uh this card is just crazy so <laughs> i always say it in all my videos but i'll say it again any archetype that has a link one is already off to a great start so monk of the tenny is amazing this card is also amazing uh shaman of the tenny so when she's uh summoned or, or not even when she's summoned you could discard one card um uh, and then especially summon a worm from your graveyard so it's pretty cool um and then while she's on the field and um you have a non-effect monster on the field uh at the start of the battle phase whenever your opponent's attacking your non-effect monster you could destroy that monster so very uh it comes up rare <clears throat> usually use her for the special summon this card special summon effect but it does come up so she's amazing play one of the berserker uh very easy to bring out very you know nothing crazy in terms of what's required of it it's just a big beater to be honest with you that's what it comes down to <laughs> so berserk and now we're going off so that's all the real tennies now we're just gonna go off right here so Natura beast is absolutely necessary like absolutely necessary in this deck um you play this against sky strikers and it's gonna be gg for them so <laughs> and you can make it easily with the uh you can uh, special summon uh what's her name uh what's the name da -da -da -da. special summon uh adhora and then you could go ahead and normal summon any other level four so him and then that's that's it right there boom boom pop pop it's quick and easy um, and then I play, you know, Brionic just because you can technically make him. So it's always good to surprise your opponent. No Trishula. No Trishula. <laughs> uh, so Dengirsu, you play Crackdown. And if you're playing against Orcus, you take away their Lingirsu, their, their uh, Galatea. And you could go ahead and Dengirsu their ass. So that's always fun. And then, of course, the uh, Super Poly targets that are, you know, typical Mud, Storming, Preda, or oh, Starving, not Storming, and Salad. So, a little bit of everything covered the whole sp span of the meta. And I do like to, 
even though my background is cyber dragons you know i do uh play both of these chimera techs in case i do get that rogue cyber dragon player i'm able to just destroy them as well so so yeah guys that's the uh deck profile let me know what you guys think of uh these uh, amazing tinny cards so it's a really good deck i mean it's a lot of fun but uh still you know there's a lot of things missing from it still um you know, uh, when Chaos Impacts comes out, we'll be able to even more pop off. And I'll still clean out the ratio. So I'll come up, come back with you guys with a Rev 2 of the deck profile. But for now, this is what we got. So catch you guys in the next one. Peace.